Hello viewers, this is Simple Ali with another video. In this video, I'll show you some of the upgrades that are made to my Creality CR10S Pro version 1 printer. I replaced the stock screen with the Big Tree Tech TFT35 version 3. This is an excellent screen and it's dual mode. This is the TFT mode. To go to the Marlin mode, you have to press and hold the knob for a few seconds. And this will take you to the traditional Marlin mode, which is commonly seen in most of the 3D printers. I replaced the stock extruder and the hot end with E3D Hamera direct drive extruder and hot end, which is mounted on a custom bracket. I added a BL Touch Pro from Tiny Machines. These kits come with custom ribbon cables that connect directly to the printer. I've also put in some anti-backlash nuts to prevent the Z-axis from sagging once the printer is switched off. And I have installed the Wham Bam flexible build system for easy removal of printed parts. And last but not least, I've put in some LEDs on the frame by printermods.com. On the inside, I've installed the Big Tree Tech SKR 1.4 turbo board, TMC 2209 step drivers, a 24 volt UPS to resume printing after power loss, and Big Tree Tech relay for automatic shutdown after the print is finished. The bracket I used to mount the SKR board is by Skullkill on Thingiverse. The TFT screen mount is by David on Thingiverse. And my custom bracket for Hamera is also available on Thingiverse. This is the link to the LEDs that I used. As I couldn't get a custom PCB to connect the ribbon cable to the SKR board, I ordered a PCB for CR10S Pro, same as the one attached to Z-axis. I've modified some of the connection of the PCB on the Z-axis of the printer. For the hot end fan, I used the two pins on the spare E2 socket, so the fan only comes on when the temperature goes above 50 degrees. This is how the ribbon cable coming from the PCB on the Z-axis connects to the PCB inside the printer and ultimately to the SKR 1.4 board. And this is what the setup looks like inside the printer. I have to install extra cooling fan as I live in a hot country. I've also added extension cables to access USB and SD socket on the SKR board. The connectivity of the filament runout sensor and the big tree tech relay looks something like this. And these are all the hardware changes that I made. Now I'll show you the firmware changes. In the TFT35 firmware configuration H file, I changed the pulse settings and I also uncommented the filament runout commands as shown. For the SKR 1.4 board in configuration H, I set the serial port to minus 1 and port 2 to 0. I changed the board name to SKR 1.4 Turbo. I've uncommented the PSU control, the PSU name, and set the PSU active high to true. I changed the temperature sensor to 5 for the Hamera, and also set the maximum temperature to 275. These are my PID values for the hot end, and I have uncommented the PID for bed, and these are my PID values for the bed. I set the max extrude length to 200 millimeters. I uncommented and changed the drivers to TMC2209 for X, Y, Z and the extruder. My steps per unit for the extruder came out to 400 and the max feed rate for the extruder I set it to 90. I've also uncommented the S-curve acceleration. And I changed the Z-MinPro pin to P1 underscore 27. I also commented out probe manually. I uncommented BL Touch because that's what I'm using. My nozzle to probe offset values are minus 3, minus 40, and minus 2.6 for X, Y, and Z. I changed the invert Z direction to false and I also set the Z homing height to 10. My bed size on the X is 306 and on Y it is 290. The X, Y, and Z min position I set them to 0 and the maximum to 320, 290, and 400 for X, Y, and Z. I have commented out the filament runout sensor as it is connected to the TFT board and not the SKR board. I uncommented restore leveling after G28. I set the grid max points to 4 and the corner insets to 20. 
I set the manual X homing position to minus 14.6 and uncommented Z safe homing. I change some of the temperature values for PLA and PETG. For nozzle park, I use the X min and the Y min position instead of the max. I change the LCD language to Western, uncommented individual access homing menu, and commented out the speaker because I'm not using any. In configuration ADVH, I change the hot and fan pin to P2 underscore 04 and part cooling fan pin to P2 underscore 03. I uncommented the decimal small xy and also the LCD timeout status. I uncommented power loss recovery, set the PLR default to true, set the Z raise to 3 millimeters and change the pin to P1 underscore 25. I uncommented long file name support on the LCD. In baby step in multiplier, I set it to 1 for X, for Z and XY and uncommented baby steps Z probe offset. In advanced pause features, I changed the unload and load length to 100 and reduced the beeps to 4 from 6. I set the stepper driver currents to 760 for X Y and Z and 900 for the extruder. I commented out stealth job for the extruder and changed the voltage for the chopper default to 24 volts. These are all the main firmware changes that I made. I will now show you some of the new features in action. The first one is the filament run out feature. Once the filament runs out, the Z axis will move up and the nozzle will park. A message will appear on the screen. After loading the filament, printing can be resumed. The second feature is the power loss function. Once the power is lost, the z-axis will move a few millimeters up and a message will appear on the screen. Once the power is back on, printing can be resumed via the TFT screen. This function, however, is only currently available when you are printing with the SD card and not the USB. The last feature is the automatic shutdown after the printing is finished. The printer will wait for the temperature to come down and a message will appear on the screen. Once the temperature goes below 50 degrees, the printer will automatically shut down completely. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Take care and bye for now.